Hi traders, I'm often being asked how do I prepare for my trading day so let me give you just seven simple rules. As you can see we are approximately 15 minutes from the opening from the bell. First thing I would do is take a look at the headlines. So you can do it different ways. You can definitely open uh, Bloomberg which I do and then you can see pre-market uh, futures and here you can see that the Dow Jones is already up by 0.5, S&P is up 0.26, uh, futures, S, uh, Euro futures are up by 1.19, actually the Euro is being traded right now, European markets, so we're getting very good backwind, meaning markets worldwide are moving up. Look at the FTSE up more than 1%, Nikkei is up, Hang Seng is up, so everything is looking green. And then I will take a look at um, the pre-market SPY, which is traded pre-market. And as you can see, it's up by 0.32%. So again, the market will start up today with a gap up today. And it's very important for me to know that. Now, I'm taking a look at the daily. Daily is very important. The weekly, just to understand where we're coming from. Very nice uptrend. And then I will take a look at 30-minute uh, candles. Is, and I would look back for open gaps because gaps are usually being closed very relatively very fast I mean in a few days so look at this gap at 24.50 this area right over here so that that looks like a gap the market is going to close in the next few days so even though we're moving up I do expect the market to in fact come down not necessarily today but that depends we're going to see some very intraday movers today because today Again, it's a very busy week, there's a lot of announcements, and now, in fact, I'm preparing for my intraday trading, not only by watching the market, as I just described, headlines and worldwide market, but looking at my st stock screener. So here's my stock screener right here. That's my top 20 screener. That's my Colmex top 20 screener, and it allows, you, allows me to watch pre-market gaps. So as you can see here, for example, I have losers, that's uh, the Nasdaq side, and there's a new stock exchange, and gainers, these are all pre-market movers. If I'm going to click right here on STX, you can see that it's just moved down by 20%, pre-market mover 20%, certainly going to be one of the best movers today. So I just put it here on my chart, because I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to click on PCRX, and as you can see, I just put it on this chart right over here, because that's also a stock I'm going to be watching, all of them one-minute candles one minute candles. Here I'm taking a look at the daily to understand where it's coming from, where the support lines, where the distance and so on, but here I would take a look at the intraday trading once the trading starts. Right now I don't see that, I don't care. I'm just going to see it when the trading opens up. So I have a whole list here of interesting stocks like WDC is down 4% and there's more. Take a look at this Logi thing. Logi for example, once I click it I can see on the daily that it's a dual traded stock. I don't trade dual traded stocks because a gap in Logi does not mean that it is a real gap because it was traded or maybe still is being traded on a different stock exchange so Logi is out of the picture just take a look at the gaps here every day and you will immediately know that this is a dual traded stocks so again I've got plenty of movers to the upside to the downside I'm going to put them all on my screens right over here and of course I use different uh, plenty other charts as you can see over here too. So there's plenty of other movers that I'm going to post here. All of them based on my system, which I personally prefer. These are morning gaps, usually gap downs, not necessarily one minute candles to start my morning with. And then I'll move to five minute candles. But at the beginning at least, I'm watching one minute candles. So again, back here, watching every mover that I need right here, right on this screener, my Colmex screener, which is, by the way, set, as you can see in the config here, to stocks over $10 only. So there's a lot of other big movers like $1 to $10, but based on my strategy, I don't trade those usually. I trade stocks which involve a lot of institutional traders, and that is a major component in my trading system. So I'm watching stocks over $10, I get them all right here, and of course, I'm also using my trading room picks too. So I'm not the only one who's following stock. There's hundreds of traders in my trading room. They all see my 
they all see my charts, there's a chat going on, they will participate, they will ask me questions, and they will post their picks too. So plenty of them are going to, are going to direct me to different picks today, which are going to be probably interesting, especially if I miss something. So as you can see, it comes to just seven simple rules. For me, it takes me approximately 10 to 15 minutes to prepare to the market. I do suggest that you're going to spend a little bit more time, especially if you're not experienced as I am, probably should give it something like 25 to 30 minutes or maybe a little bit more. I hope this video helped you to learn how I prepared for my trading day and stay tuned to see the results in the same stocks that we were just discussing. So here's my short in uh, STX, the one we discussed uh, earlier. And here are the results. Just about to take my profit right here, taking right here. And the results up $3,400. You can also see Google here. Google is also on this top 20 list. Got it as exactly the same place. And here's another one we discussed earlier, PCRX, which I just shorted over here, this nice reversal. And right here you can see PCRX as it moved down. That's the point where I took my partial right over here. Gain all of them at the same list. And here are the results. PCRX trade was worth $1,500. As you can see, most of my trades came from this list. You can see STX here, PCRX. Google is also here. The only one you don't see here is LLY, which ended up in green too, but wasn't on that list because it came up from one of my trading room members. And the results, still holding Google, LLY, which did great, and so far up $7,000. All of this starting with just seven simple rules, watching the market, watching different trades, and just preparing the right way for the trading day, especially with my top 20 Colmex screener. Thank you very much for watching this. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.